I'm back again, and this is the last thing I want to show you in PixInsight. My, one of my favorite tools, and the reason it's my favorite tool is because you really have a lot of control over it. And what it is, is it's it's a star, not removal, but it's a, a star reducer. And what you do is you first have to make a star mask. And you can come over down here to process, go on to where it says, let's see if I can find it here. Mask generation, star mask. And this is a trial and error making star masks for each image. It seems like it's different. Where it says noise threshold, I usually start off by making it up to like 0.3. Scale for this image, Five is probably good. Maybe I'll go to six. The bigger the scale, the bigger the stars the, the, that it's going to consider stars. It's and I'd like to tell you, give you a nice number to choose, but I can't. Um, six anywhere between. Usually it's between five and eight. Okay, I can tell you that. You don't want to go like ten or something like that. These features down here, I usually leave them alone. I've changed them before, but I was playing around with making star masks, and sometimes I, I have to adjust it, but we're going to leave them alone for now. And then this aggressiveness, the smoothest, I'm going to go down to about 12. 10, usually I go to between 10 and 12 for that. And now I'm going to set a press it and see what I get. Yeah, it takes a minute to make the star mask. It's making it right over here where it says like 89%. It usually stops around 92 and 95. It hangs up for a minute. And Okay, hey, this looks pretty good. This isn't too bad. All right, so I, I can live with this. Turn that off. All right. So we're going to put this over. There, like our normal masks. I'm going to minimize this. And then I'm going to invert it, like I normally do. Okay, so it's it's going to produce all those little red dots, which are stars. And I'm going to make it go away. Just pause. Okay, so. The reducer that does it is this thing called the morphological transformation. And boy, is this handy. I love this tool. I don't like to remove or make the stars too small or get rid of too many stars because I like a lot of star fields. And this gives you a good, um, you know, I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I'll put it on full, full blown here. I don't change any of these other parameters, although you can, but I, I never had to. But I'm going to leave the amount at full, and all you have to do is just drag it over and watch what it does. And I'll click on it. And I may have just done this backwards. I probably didn't, not knowing myself. Let's see. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, I did it backwards. I actually reduced the uh, background. Actually, it didn't too bad. Do too bad with the background. No, no. Let me try that again. I learned something. You can do a morphological transformation in the background. Uh, interesting, cool. But that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I don't need that. So 
So I'm going to come back over here to my mask, show my mask. And I actually wanted to protect everything else but the stars. So I'm going to invert it back and then hide it. And now I'm going to do the morphological transformation. Ah, there we go. See? Perfect. So you can see how it reduced all those stars. Now, as I said, I I I prefer to have a lot of stars, so uh, this you know I'm going to take it away. See what I mean? And it brought them all back. As I said, I I don't like to do too much star reduction, but if I want to only do like thirty percent, I can do that. Okay, and it took away a few of this. Uh, it made a few of the stars smaller, so you can highlight whatever um, whatever else you want to uh, highlight, like the galaxies, for example. So, anyways, that was morphological transformation, one of my favorite tools. Anyways, we'll see. okay. Well, the next step that I was going to do, I'm going to bring it into Photoshop. But before I bring it into Photoshop, I got to save it as a TIFF file. And I don't think I showed you how to save it as a TIFF file. What you do is you come over to File, Save As, and now it gives you a whole bunch of uh, what, I, what I was doing before. But where, where it says Save Type, I've been saving them as XISF files. I'm just going to come over down here, look for TIFF, press TIFF, Save, and you want to go with 16 bit unassigned integer and everything else I like to leave exactly as is. Press OK. And there we go. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye.